Well, thank you for letting me introduce you to this uh, program. It's a short presentation and a bit of brandy, I guess. Um, it all started in, in 1999, 2000, when these guys realized that anesthetists were not good enough in pain management when it comes to cancer pain or cancer-related pain and chronic pain. So they sat down in Copenhagen in a couple of meetings and founded this uh, educational program. Um, it has developed through at least uh, now 15 years and nearly 16 years, and this is the vault today we call it the faculty. Uh, I'm the chair, and, and we had two from, from every country except for, for Sweden. For some reasons, uh, have three fellows here. But that is how it, how it looks. And we are very much integrated in, in planning and, and being at, at these different courses. This is a, a two years, a long lasting course, only for Nordic uh, physicians. And when we started it, it was only for anesthesiologists. But after six years, I think it, when, when, I, when I started being the, the director of the program, we realized that, that pain management is not only an anesthesiological task. We had to expand it. Also because we had a lot of, of, of applications from, from other specialities, and then we opened up, and typically what we see at, at, the, uh, at, at the courses, of course, anesthesiologists represent three quarters of, of the students, but, but now we see increasing numbers of, of general practitioners, Surgeon, surgeon, surgeons, people from internal medicine, social medicine, rheumatology, uh, neurology, etc. And we demand that the student is fluent in one of the Nordic uh, languages, because it is a, a program only for, for Nordic doctors. Maybe we'll open up that later, but it has a question also about the clinical training. We'll come back to that later. And of course, there must be. Be, they must master the English language, as we, we, we hold the, the courses in, in, in the English language. The purpose is, is very general. That pain is a biopsychosocial phenomenon, despite pain type. Um, and also, they want, we want to give these students adequate basic knowledge and skills in how to evaluate, perform a pain analysis, and be conservant with the relevant therapies in the different type of patients. The program consists of three parts. The first part is the theoretical part, which consists of five courses of three days of duration. We start in Stockholm or Uppsala, then we go to Helsinki, then Copenhagen, then Oslo, and then we end up in, in Reykjavik during these two years. And our course description is very near or here to the ISP educational guidelines. It is called Curriculum for Professional Education in Pain. If you want to see more detailed uh, content of, of our program, you just go to, to the SSI homepage and, and give you the, the link later. One of the advantages with these uh, theoretical courses is the networking. We stress the, the possibility of establishing networks uh, throughout the, these uh, courses and, 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 and working together from nation to nation. Another advantage is that usually all the, the faculty members, the board members you saw just, just before, they will be present at the courses. And of course, we have a written evaluation of, of each course, and usually we are scoring very high on a zero to five scale, or our ratings will be something like 4.2 up to 4.6 or 7, or something like that. <coughs> we are using it, of course, for, for, for adjusting the, the program. The second part is the scientific part. And uh, we realize that, that some students are very keen and very educated in, in, in performing scientific uh, studies, and others are not. But we try to, to they, they shall all have a, a task to do, a project, a survey, 
uh, whatever to, to, to perform during these two years and, and the, the title, the idea shall be approved by, by the national faculty members. And uh, we give them a tutor from the faculty and otherwise encourage them to have a tutor from outside, typically from their home department. To, to be sure of their progress, we have at each course uh, uh, guided poster presentations and monitored by our project manager, Ulrich Schulen from, from, from Sweden, from Karolinska, we call him the progress director. And he is simply in, in, in the heels of, of these students to, to see that they are doing the, the proper job. The last thing is the clinical part. And uh, we demand from them that they have at least three months a supervised stay with hand-on patients, their own patients, in a university-based multidisciplinary pain clinic or pain center, or similar. The, 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 the setups for, for, for the Nordic countries are different from country to country. So, so the, this, this educational plan for the individual student must be approved by, by the, the national faculty members. We have no examinations. We have discussed that a lot of time, but, but we, we decided that this is a post-specialist course. So these are all adults, and, 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 and simple examination does not prove anything about handling this great area of, of pain uh, management. So what, what we demand on them, uh, that they shall have participated in at least four of the five courses, they shall have finalized and presented uh, their project. At, at the presentation, it must be approved by the faculty. And then they should have this supervised stay at a pain center, university based center, or, or similar, as, as I said. And this stay should also be approved by the local faculty, but also by the supervising specialist. When all these are all right, they, we can give them the diploma. We are running our own show, you could say, as uh, we have our own uh, non-commercial, non-profit organization with our own economy, our own secretariat, and SSAR countries only the umbrella organization. Actually, in, in, in practice, we have no, nothing to do with the SSAE, but we refer to them and we are participating in, in the meetings, of course, but we, we want to run our own show. We have an annual financial report, of course, and everything should be, be all, all right. The courses are rather expensive. It costs us 7,000 Danish kroner to participate in the three-day courses. Uh, we accept or will not receive money from, from the outside. We have no sponsors, no medical companies, no nice guys coming with a lot of money. We, we want to do it on our own. The students will pay their own travel expenses and accommodation, or at least hopefully the, the, whole, the, the home departments will pay for that. To get the, the, the best lecturers, we are given a very good salary. Uh, we'll pay uh, about 3,000 kroner for up uh, to one hour lecture, including discussion. So, so we are spending a lot of, of money on, on lecturers. But the faculty members, they're, they're so cheap. They only paid for, for the accommodation and, and travel expenses. There, there are no salaries for, for participating in, in, in the courses. We stress very much the, the idea of networking, and that means that at the first, first course in Sweden, we all always uh, arrange a get-together party with a dinner, with a lot of alcohol, of course, to, to encourage, uh, to see what happens, and, and it helps quite a lot, I can assure you. And, uh, and the last course, that is the, the last time we have a formal arrangement where we have the graduation dinner and uh, the touristic attraction of the, of the Golden Circle, of course. In between, at the other courses, we encourage the students to, to make their own arrangements, and usually they, they do that. And here are the, the results from, from the very beginning. And you can see in the last line, uh, the, we have had 211 students since 2001 and 181 uh, got the diploma. That, that means our uh, success rate is average uh, 86%. Last time, 100% of, of the students 
fulfill the criteria for getting this diploma. And in May, in, in Reykjavik, I guess we'll have another 30 people with a diploma. If you want to uh, know more about this uh, paint program, you go to the SSI homepage. We have just upgraded and updated the uh, course description, uh, where you can see more and more details. And for those of you who are interested in in, in this uh, this courses, uh, we will announce it in, in in early January next year, and to, to start in in November 18. So that was that. Thank you.